Our first step to make this very simple turkey is to find the center of our page. And I'm gonna put my hand in the center of the page. You can use a pencil for this process or a paintbrush. If we color it in with markers and crayons, then you can use either a marker or a crayon if you'd like. But you put the hand in the middle of the page. Let me move it to the middle here. I have to make my page a little bit smaller so it'll fit in the screen. There. So if we put our hand in the very middle, like this, okay? And we need to leave a little bit of room at the top for the feet area. And I'm gonna take my pencil or paintbrush or marker and I'm gonna draw around my hand. Then I pull my hand off and then I'm gonna turn this upside down. So it looks like the letter yeah. U. It's gonna be the letter U, okay? Now, we're gonna take at the top of the letter U and make a nice, large circle. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up, around, and back down. You want the circle to be in proportion with the letter U. So if you look at your hand, this is your fist, okay? And then if you hold your fist the sideways, see? It's almost the space that this part of your hand takes up when you curl your hand into a fist, okay? So this is the hand that's opened, and then you curl it up. Now we're going to connect with a straight line. This will form the turkey's head. This will form its body, and then we just watched some turkeys on a video and it had large feathers coming out for its tail. So I'm gonna do a straight line that is diagonal all the way up to the edge of my page. On the bottom back end of the turkey, I'm gonna go diagonally down to the bottom edge of the page, right to the, what's this called? Corner. 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 Now I'm gonna go turkey body out to the side of the page, okay? Now I'm gonna work on two straight lines coming down for the legs. Then I'm gonna go out, out. You could put a couple toes in here. And he has a little short one coming out in the back. So I've got three in the front. Now I'm gonna work on the beak, and the turkey beak is diagonal down, okay? And then I'm gonna go straight back to the head. And then I'm gonna work on the fleshy skin right in front off the beak, and then it hangs down and comes back. Who remembers the name of that? Yes? It's a beak. Who remembers the name of the fleshy skin that comes off the beak? Yes, ma'am? Um, Let's put an eye in while she thinks. Now this is the side view of the turkey. So we have one eye. We don't put two eyes and a smiley face because the beak is in substitute for the turkey's mouth. So this will be his mouth and his beak. What was the name of that fleshy skin that came off the off the beak. Wait. A snood. It's a snood. Let me show you how you spell it. Snoods. The snoods are right here. It's a funny name. Now, the turkey also has this skin that comes down off its neck, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And it was bright red when we saw the turkey video that Miss Belushi made from the blueberry farm. It was bright red and it had texture, didn't it, on it? It was loose skin. This was called a what? The loose skin. Yes. Yes, ma'am? A waddle, right. So the waddle comes under his chin. And now that's about, if you want to add a wing, you can put a wing in here like that. 
And that's how you make a very simple turkey. Okay. And then of course you can decorate it, color it in. Okay. You can add, come back and add details. <gasps> This is more feathers and make smaller feathers in here. Wow, like so you can use your imagination, put more feathers. When we saw the video, it had short feathers and then it had some longer feathers near the wing. And these feathers were actually black and white striped. They were really cool. So have fun creating your simple turkey.